education is that which does not merely give us information, but makes our life in harmony with all existence. The Heritage family and I, Venu Bihani, extend a warm welcome to the newly inducted students and their parents of the BTEC and MTEC courses to the student induction program. We heartily congratulate you all for joining the Heritage Institute of Technology. On this instrumental day, we have with us the chief guest for the program, Swami Atmapriyanandaji Maharaj, Pro Chancellor, Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda Educational and Research Institute. We also have with us the guest of honor for the program, Professor Dr. K.R.S. Sambasiva Rao, Vice Chancellor, Mizoram University. We also welcome Sri Pia Ragarwalaji, Chairman, Board of Governors, Heritage Institute of Technology, Sri Vikram Swarupji, Vice Chairman, Kalyan Bharti Trust, Sri Shri P.K. Agarwalji, CEO, Heritage Group of Institutions, and Professor Dr. Bashar Chaudhuri, Principal, Heritage Institute of Technology. We now invite Professor Bashar Chaudhuri, Principal of our Institute, to deliver the welcome address. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On the virtual platform, we have our chairman of the BOG, Board of Governors, Sri P.R. Agarwalaji. We have vice chairman of the Kalyan Bharati Trust, Sri Vikram Sarubji, our respected trustees, our guide and advisor, Swami Atma Priyanandaji, Pro Chancellor of the Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda Education and Research Institute, our guest of honor, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Mizoram University, <coughs> Professor Sambasiva Rao, Sri Prabhi Roy, Director, Sri Pradeep Agarwal, the Chief Executive Officer, members of the faculty, my respected colleagues in administration, Dr. Sujit Kumar Borua, Registrar, Sri Arbind Srivastava, Joint Registrar, Dr. Shandeep Chatterjee, Joint Registrar Academic, and today's stars, the new students to the Heritage Institute of Technology. Of course, I must uh, convey my thanks to Venu Bihani ji, who is doing a great job uh, this morning. I welcome my new students today to the Heritage Institute of Technology. Greetings to them and my reverence to all the distinguished persons present over here on this virtual platform. You know why we are on the virtual platform today. Because of the pandemic, we cannot call you such a large number of students to the Institute. So we are organizing this Students Induction Program and Compass 2021 on the virtual platform. Today is, the, today is a very important day for the students. They are coming to, the, to an engineering institute and this is solely for the new students. This program is done solely for the new students. Our respected chairman, our respected um, uh, vice chairman of the KBT, our respected trustees and all the persons have come on the platform this morning and um, uh, respected dignitaries, they have come on this platform this morning because of you. Our students who are coming today have studied through the last 12 years, cleared the difficult joint entrance examination, dreamt of being engineers, and today they are entering the Heritage Institute of Technology with promise that they will be engineers. It is a promise. The Heritage Institute of Technology will do everything for them in terms of teaching and learning, in terms of providing study materials, under guidance of the teachers, but primarily the students have to study hard and carry out the lab work very diligently to fulfill their dreams. Right from day one, dear students, dedicate yourselves to study. I assure you, you will be successful. The sky is the limit. A good engineer is a blend of head and hands. Perseverance and patience, are important qualities of engineers. May you be the best engineers of the, in the country. That is my wish today. The Heritage Institute of Technology alumni are highly placed. You will find them all over the world in industries, in the best possible industries. You name Google, you name Oracle, you name Goldman Sachs, our uh, respected chairman uh, will, uh, will give a brief on that and in the best of universities, and you will find our students everywhere. 
in four years from now, this is 2021, in the year 2025, you will join them in the best possible institutes in the country and outside the country. It is a very proud moment for you and for your families. You know, with the gross enrollment ratio only 25%, 75 students who have who hundreds out of 100 students, 75 students are falling backwards. Only 25 students are coming to higher education and you are one of them, one of 25, 25%. So we celebrate your success today and we pray for your future success. Heritage will try to give you not only successful careers, but also fulfilling lives. I request parents, and this is a very important request to parents, to encourage their sons and daughters to study hard. Success cannot be achieved and sustained without hard work. Only with hard work, you can get success and you can sustain success. All our trustees who dreamt of building an institution of higher education in the year 2001 are satisfied that in 20 years, we have developed an institute that can really that can really be proud of the brand that we have created. HIT expects hard work and honesty from the students. I congratulate all of you and I pray for your all round well being. I am indeed grateful to all the dignitaries, including our chairman, including the vice chairman of KBT, for coming over here this morning. Um, uh, they, are, they are very busy. I understand that. But the point is, they have accepted our request and they have agreed to be on the platform. So I, I, I pay my reverence to them. And I, I finally say that may God bless my students so that they become the brand ambassadors of the Heritage Institute of Technology in four years from now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please come to the Institute. Please join the Institute. And please make, please make the Institute stronger, bigger, bolder in terms, of, in terms of success. Your success is our pride. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chaudhary. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your motivating words, sir. I hope students feel motivated this morning. May we now request Sri Pia Agarwalaji, Chairman, Board of Governors, Heritage Institute of Technology, to say a few words to the newly inducted students and their parents. Okay. <clears throat> My fellow trustee, Sri Vikram Srupji, Sri Pradeep Agarwal, CEO of Heritage Group of Institutions, Principal Professor Basar Chaudhary, faculty members, and my dear students. In the last 20 years, the Institute has produced more than 15,000 engineers, many of whom are professionally well-placed all over the globe including the best institute to the world, like Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, and Harvard, and in the companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Oracle, and Eastern Young. Some of our students have also become reputed IAS, IPS, and WCS officers. You will be glad to learn that you all are entering the institution of great legacy, which has inevitably taken a seat of command in the education domain. I welcome you all. This year, Heritage has introduced some new age courses like BTEC in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. We take in machine learning, and I'm very sure that this will curve a new era in technical learning. I wish you all to be toppers, not only in education, but to be an outstanding citizen of the country. Once again, I welcome you all. Be happy, stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, sir. We invite Sri Vikram Swarupji, Vice Chairman, Kalyan Bharti Trust, to deliver uh, well to deliver 
uh, some words to the audience. Fellow trustee, Shri P.R. Agrawalji, dear Shri Pradeep Agrawalji, CEO of the Heritage Group of Institutions, dear Principal Professor Basav Chaudhary, my dear faculty members, and most important of all, my dear students who are entering the Heritage Institute of Technology today. Good morning to all of you. I am very happy to be here today, although I would have been happier if I could have been with you physically. But all of you know why we are forced to organize this induction program online. We do not want any health risk to our new entrants who are our future. As has been told in the year 2001, 22 industrialists from Kolkata had dreamt of this institute. And we have just observed our 20, 20th anniversary. I am a mechanical engineer and I have valued the profession greatly. Engineers make a country prosperous. Look at the developed countries and you'll find engineering marvels. You talk about bullet train in Japan and the engineers are the architects. You see the mobile revolution and again, engineers are behind it. Engineering is a profession combining head, hand and heart. And I pray for you today that you become good engineers. Be good. We need well-trained engineers who can transform the country. At the same time, we need young men and women who love their country. And that is why all of us put a lot of emphasis on our heritage. The motto of India is unity in diversity. Nowhere you'll get such diversity. Being an engineer does not mean you will not know about the culture and heritage of India. So as you become a successful professional, you become a good citizen of the country. I welcome all of you today. Put your mind in study. At the same time, take part in some sports. Sports teaches you how to be competitive. But more importantly, sports teaches you how to be humble in victory and graceful in defeat. It teaches you not to give up till the very end because no game is lost till it is lost. I wish you all well, stay safe and take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vikramji. Now I call upon Sri P.K. Agarwalji, CEO, Heritage Group of Institutions, to say a few words to the curious gathering. My pranam to our respected Swami Atma Priyanandji Bharaj and Professor Sambhasiva Rao, respected Sri P.R. Agrawalji and Sri Vikram Sarovji, our principal, all the faculty and other staff. I believe that today is a very auspicious day for all of us as we are able to start today's orientation program for our new batch of students, engineering students, probably first in this state of West Bengal during such pandemic time. We are the first in row today. So this has become possible just because of you, my dear students present here, who opted this institute with a belief that you will be able to achieve your own dream and desire. My congratulations to all the parents whose partnership will help us to fulfill the dream of your students, your wards. Now let us have the blessings and insights from the distinguished guests and speakers present here and get ready for a new journey ahead of your life. Thank you, thank you. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasve Shri Guru Venamaha. I shall now request Swami Atma Priyanandaji Maharaj to shower his blessings on us on this significant day. Swami Atma Priyanandaji is Pro Chancellor of Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Educational and Research Institute, Belur Math. Swamiji is a very senior monk of the Ramakrishna order. He is a great organizer and an erudite physicist. Swamiji has served as the nominee of University Grants Commission, the Board of Governors of our institute. Currently, he is a special invitee on our board. 
Maharaj Ji, kindly address the gathering. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasmina Vadhi Tamastruma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 May the Supreme Being protect us both, the teacher and the disciple, by revealing to us the true nature of knowledge. May the Supreme Being protect us both, the teacher and the disciple, by revealing to us the application of the knowledge. May we both strive together for the acquisition of knowledge. May the knowledge and wisdom that we acquire be effective and illuminative. May there be no disharmony between us. Om, peace, peace, peace. It's a very important prayer, which is usually chanted at the beginning of any educational endeavor, involving the student and the teacher. Education is a joint venture of the taught, the student on the one hand, and the teacher, who is the Acharya on the other hand. This is a very ancient Upanishadic Shanti Mantra or a peace chant, which is extremely significant because it emphasizes that knowledge has two aspects. One is the theoretical aspect, which is the basis of knowledge. The other is the applied aspect where this knowledge has to be used for the good of mankind. In the present century particularly, we know how knowledge has exploded. We call it the revolution of knowledge, but what for? To kill others for wars or... And declaring war against mankind as it were, the present pandemic which you are going through is suspected to be a mischief by some people to paralyze the whole of humanity. We do not know how far it is true, but there's a strong suspicion. Human beings are unable to trust one another. This is the greatest tragedy of our modern times. We call it trust the deficit. The husband and wife don't trust each other. The, the parents don't trust the children. Children don't trust the teachers. Teachers can't trust anybody. The whole society is plagued by an extraordinary virus called distrust and mistrust. Harmony and peace is not possible without trust. Faith, Vishwas, Shraddha is the basis of society. The students should have shown that to the teacher. And interestingly, as Vivekananda pointed out, the guru should also have shraddha in the sishya. What does it mean? That means the teacher should know and feel that he is being entrusted with the job of molding gentle minds who are young, pliable, flexible, and this is an onerous responsibility for which he has to handle the students gently, affectionately, but firmly and sternly, and with the intention of imparting the knowledge to the next generation. From generation to generation, knowledge flows, and this flow of knowledge from one generation to the other generation increasing in volume and increasing in intensity, in extensity and intensity, in breadth and width, the knowledge will grow and grow till the entire humanity is filled with peace. The ancient Indian wisdom repeatedly emphasized the idea of peace, Shanti. Everywhere you will have Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And 
Shanti, peace is related to happiness. The Bhagavad Gita says famously, Ashantasya kutas sukham. A person who has no shanti cannot have sukha also. Happiness and peace always go together. And the goal of human existence is the pursuit of happiness and peace. It is possible, it was discovered ages ago, millions of years ago, that peace and happiness is possible only on the principle of sacrifice. Every individual has to sacrifice his, her own self-interest in order to promote the welfare and happiness of the collective or the society. This idea of sacrifice is what holds the society together and holding principle in Sanskrit is called dharma. Dharma is not religion as it is erroneously translated in English. Dharma is a large principle in which you have the idea of sacrifice. Comes from dhridhatu, comes from dhridhatu, which means to hold. Holding in the modern terminology is called sustainability. Now we talk about sustainable development, sustainable goals. The United Nations came up with sustainable development goals. The principle of sustainability was discovered ages ago in India in the principle of dharma, which is the principle of sacrifice. So the new students who are entering the portals of this prestigious institute, Heritage Institute, as the name itself suggests, this is built upon the ancient Indian heritage, blended harmoniously with the modern science and technology. This was Swami Vivekananda's great vision, how the old and the new, the East and the West, the Indian spiritual wisdom and the modern science and technology may be harmoniously blended. As he told Jamshedji Tata, the founder of the Indian Institute of Science, as it is now called, the blending of the humanistic and natural sciences. We have had natural sciences, bioscience and technology and physics and mathematics and chemistry, but the humanistic sciences, which is contemplation, inwardness, purity, holiness, self-sacrifice. These are the sciences which are now extremely important. And this institute will teach you both natural and humanistic sciences. We have an excellent team of administrators who are passionate about these goals. And now we have a very good academician who has also imbued with these values of spirituality and wisdom, the ancient Indian values. Dr. Basha Taudhari was my student. I am proud of him. So I greet all of you, the administrators, the chairman and the directors, the principal, all the faculty members, and welcome to all the students in this Heritage Institute of Technology. And may you get imbued with the ancient Indian spiritual values, along with modern skill, technology, and science. Good luck to all of you. May God bless you. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Rama Krishna Arpanamastu. Thank you, sir. It is indeed a great fortune for all of us to have Swamiji's guidance, blessings, and motivation to be. We now request Professor Dr. K.R.S. Sambasiva Rao, Chancellor, Mizoram University, to share his thoughts with the ego audience. Professor Sambasiva Rao is Vice Chancellor of Mizoram University. He is the General Secretary of Association of Biotechnology and Pharmacy. 
He also serves as the Vice President of Indian Society of Comparative Physiology. He is a great teacher and researcher with over 32 years of teaching experience and over 40 years of research experience in the fields of environmental toxicology and physiology, aquaculture biotechnology, and fermentation technology. He is a fellow of Association of Biotechnology and Pharmacy, is an honorary fellow of Society for Generative Medicine and the Society for Applied Biotechnologists. He has received various awards, amongst which are the Panama National Award from Republic of Panama and Talented Biotechnologist Award at ICEPH, University of Colombo. He is a member of editorial boards in various journals of repute in his field. We are very proud of having him amongst us. So kindly address the inquisitive audience. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Respected uh, the chairman of the institution, Sri Prahlad Raiji, Agarwalji, and Vice Chairman Vikram Swarupji, and uh, Swamiji uh, Atma Priyananda Ji, Vidip Agarwalji, Principal uh, Vasab uh, Chaudhary Ji, faculty members and uh, student friends and uh, parents. It was a great pleasure for me to address the new students uh, who are attending now for induction program. As per the ACT norms, uh, the induction program is being conducted online, not as physical mode. It was uh, very unfortunate. I know many students will be missing the uh, uh, feelings of uh, attending the induction program because they could not attend the physically uh, induction program. This induction program is actually very useful to the students, particularly new students, uh, to adjust to the new environment that they are coming from college, a plus two and high, after high school, they were under the guidance of parents and other people. But when they come to college, they are getting some kind of independent feelings and also an independent environment to think about uh, what they are going to do in their future life and also how they are going to plan in their future. This is an, uh, a time that students will have a wonderful opportunity for learning themselves on their own and uh, in a new environment uh, to culcate the ethos and culture of the institution, which is well known uh, for that particular culture a heritage institute for the past several years. As uh, the vice chairman has rightly pointed out uh, that uh, there are uh, uh, 24 uh, industrialists have uh, grouped together and started this institution. That itself is a big boom for the students who are joined into this institute because no other uh, engineering college will have this opportunity of uh, industrialists joined together starting a technical institute. And this is perhaps this must be the one of the very few institutes in the country where the industrialists are going to be the trustees of the institution with no profit intention. And they are actually been running the institution in a very nice manner. The students of the uh, institution, if each uh, industry takes uh, 10 to 20 students, all the students can go for industrial training in their college uh, duration. And also they can go for employment opportunities in the same institute trustees uh, industries itself. They can uh, get uh, absorbed if they're really working very well. This is a wonderful opportunity for the students to have such a wonderful trustees uh, in having. The induction meeting generally describes the whole process of their curriculum, how they are going to develop here, how they are going to be taught by the teachers, how the seniors' uh, interaction will help them uh, how the teaching will be uh, instructed here and how the lecture material is been provided and how the alumni students are helping the institution. All this is actually an opportunity for them. In the first phase, the parents and students actually joined today for this particular induction meeting. Uh, maybe in a coming uh, one week time or so, the students can have uh, opportunity for interacting with uh, uh, the senior students. As rightly pointed out by the Swamiji and other people, because of COVID-19 uh, pandemic situation, we are not in a position to 
conduct this meeting physically but it's an opportunity for you to interact uh, to listen to many people who assembled here but i'm sure very soon because the pandemic has been very ably controlled by our country and uh, we will be having physical classes very soon and uh, it will be very advisable that the students should have a feeling that uh, they will be emphasizing on the practical laboratory environment as soon as uh, the institution is open that will be very advantage for the students to complete uh, the practical part training part will during the uh, reopening of the institutions uh, physically and that will be very useful for them to even though again any kind of situation drastic situation comes to them it will be very much useful to cope up with the online education and uh, it is uh, the induction meeting actually will help you to understand what is the kind of uh, uh, instruction is going to be in the initial stages uh, when they come out from the uh, high school level to the college level they will have certain barriers uh, like understanding communication skills and also the language barrier so many uh, barriers will be there this will be helpful to them and uh, it will be an advantage that the students can understand that uh, they can cope up all these barriers initially when they go for this kind of induction meeting and uh, i also uh, say that uh, i also say that uh, the uh, students uh, can also think about uh, the uh, during this particular time induction program they have to have an ability that they should have critical thinking because engineering education is such that there should be a creativity and innovative skills and also these uh, things are actually going to become very important for the students to think about uh, creativity and innovation and which will have an opportunity for developing new ideas and uh, also to discover new things during the engineering and technology manufacturing technology when they enter into the uh, uh, into the practical oriented field <coughs> and uh, during this process they have an ability to understand what exactly the creative thinking will be going to happen that the innovation will provide you solution for so many the societal problems and also an opportunity to students to understand what are the problems and what are the solutions to be come up and this will actually lead to you for becoming an entrepreneur what is entrepreneur so to start your own profession after you complete your undergraduation or to start your own venture or to start your own company this is what actually the engineering and technology students uh, main objective and vision should be you need to you don't need to be a job seeker many students are actually guided by many senior students that you should go for a good package of uh, employment you should go for a good package of job this is what actually one kind of uh, one angle but another angle is uh, that you should become own your own entrepreneurship and you should become one of the biggest entrepreneur in the country with your abilities and commitment and this is possible only if a student thinks innovatively and also creative with a the creativity then only they will become uh, uh, what is creativity actually people think that uh, uh, you will be thinking if you are everybody is thinking in the same way, manner you will not be getting any creativity you have to think something which is not been possible which is not been happening and uh, with the idea uh, idea blocking idea or uh, that kind of uh, creative thinking if you can able to get uh, you will get the idea of uh, eureka that is that is invented by you an experience by yourself and an experience by yourself and in implementing into the particular technology this is what actually you need to develop how it is possible you have to understand that one the engineering and technology course is more practical oriented training so once you join into the college every year you will be getting lot of opportunities for getting vacation and other things you try to inculcate a habit of just going and working in a industry and also during the vacation period don't sit at home and you just join in a industry and understand what is going on in the industry that is actually a practice school training and it is not actually been taught anywhere in the institution you need to work as much as possible and try to understand what is going on in different industries in the first year the first vacation you go for one type of industry and second year you can go for another type of industry uh, 
I like that you calculate a habit of learning something which is actually what is going on in the industry. That will help you. Is there any way, new way to do that particular thing? Or can you adopt this technology to other model? Or you have a feeling that uh, can we do this in the same, uh, same in the lesser time? And is there any substitute for that? These are the questions has to come into the end minds of the student. That is possible only when you work in an industry. This is what called creativity. And those creativity will provide you innovation to invent something which is not been happening. And there are many kind of barriers also will come into your mind when you are going and getting training in this kind of institutes like the, or the like, uh, is it possible? or is, is it right, uh, right answer for us and uh, it is practicable and it is ambiguity of understanding and these are some kind of it is a foolish uh, fear will be there and these are actually will be some kind of obstructions for your creative thinking but uh, the innovation and creativity will provide your students you are going to become there are many people the many engineering students i engineers of science and iit students have started startups and which is which are actually paying them the highest rich income in the world now there are many startups which are started in bangalore and which are started in chennai and which are started in delhi they are paying they are getting highest startup income which are actually not been there and they are also very highest paid startups in the world our, our startups which are being developed by our students these are actually very important that the students has to understand every year, first year, they have to go for some industry training and they have to get practical knowledge and understanding. And also the students has to utilize this opportunity pandemic time, don't sit at home ideally. And you try to go for some online courses at, uh, at server or the MPT, NPTEL or MHRD SWIM. And these courses which are not taught in your regular curriculum, try to do at least minimum every semester two courses which are actually accessory to your subject and addition to your subject, add-on courses to your subject and their skill development courses. Every semester, all students should make a point that they should do minimum two courses. That will be very wonderful opportunity for them to get more knowledge, extra knowledge than what actually they are doing. I'm talking about startups. Everybody will be confused. What is a startup? A startup is a company. With, which has been initiated as a crazy idea of the children and are the people, entrepreneurs who just actually try in a particular college. And if they get an idea to do something as a crazy idea and that you may feel that what kind of investment is required, you can start up, you can do the startup with kind of some kind of help from the colleges or government of India, even government of India, DRD, Defense Research Development Organization, they are providing 20 lakhs, 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs, even one crore money for the startups, which actually students are coming up in their minds. They are encouraging students uh, to go for the crazy ideas and they are paying a lot of money for the students and they are uh, easy to enter into the market and easy to reach many people. High is, uh, high, uh, uh, that high rewarding and low risk involvement, these things are actually been been implemented if you are proposing a proper project government of india is also giving several kind of opportunities for the students to get money or to get some funding for this is right is your idea is good or not you have to see the market survey market analysis how it is been taken up how your parents are using that how your surrounding people are using that that kind of market analysis is enough for you to get some some kind of it this is what actually you need to have thinking about your future and every year every semester you need to go for training and every semester you need to go for some kind of new courses and this will be very much useful for you and you will become one of the best entrepreneurs in the world and that will be good for you and it will be very useful for you if you are having practical oriented knowledge in the industry and also having innovative idea and creative idea in the uh, uh, in the industry and also in college level also if you are open with the physical classes you try to acquire some kind of practical oriented knowledge because i saw your college once and there are many good facilities in your college in many laboratories you have very good instrumentation 
and utilization of that particular industry instrumentation is very important that the students actually need to even motivate the teachers to teach them something which is actually very important for the students to know practical oriented training this is what actually students has the responsibility to make the teachers also to think about motivation and to teach something which actually would not been possible not been available and try to develop some kind of dissertations in the, in your btech or be course if you can able to do three or four project uh, reports during your course study that will be very good uh, advantage for you when you go for higher studies or when you go for interaction with interviews uh, you will be getting very good uh, uh, leverage and you will be getting more good opportunities for you and you have to see that people actually there is one movie in telugu that is maharishi and if you can able to browse in the google and check for that movie that maharshi that maharshi movie actually i saw that movie three times why i am telling about that movie now people should understand how maharshi hero actually has been motivated and how he has been actually he is a, a student of triple it when he go when, when he attended the college first time in the induction meeting the college dean was mentioning that uh, you need to be Uh, keeping your photograph at the back where many people actually have their back photographs so you should also have a photograph like that he is telling and uh, even uh, dean actually i came to this level to, with a lot of hard work and dedication and my photograph was also there so this is my goal achieved this is what he told when one student um, uh, got up and he was telling that that is not the goal of your life and you are not a success a successful person your success is not really complete and getting into college level top position is not your goal your student goal should be getting into the top position of the world this is what actually the student was telling his dean and the dean was very uh, angry on him and he was telling that uh, and he was trying to uh, curb him for throughout that particular four years course and finally he has uh, levied him a false case on the student that he has stolen the examination papers and the police case was also kept on that particular student but that was one of his student one of his classmate took that particular blame on him and he saved this life and that particular student has become the ceo of a big company a software company in the world and he has developed a language which is not known to anyone and during campus interview one of his contemporary student was getting highly paid 25 lakhs per a uh, month he was telling so he told that i have given a uh, offer to the company that i will develop this particular software and technology for your company if you are interested please contact me like that he has given an offer to the company this is what the student has got vision and objective that has been proved and he has become the world number one software specialist in the world and that was the goal within a span of 3 years the student has become world number one this is what actually student need to have particular achievement and goals uh, that you should not be a job seeker you should be a job provider and he has uh, been a model for many people that movie was maharishi and you can see that and you will any engineering student who joined today if you see that movie you will understand what is your responsibility you will become something in your life this is what actually i wanted that you need to become an entrepreneur and you need to be a job provider not a job seeker and uh, i don't want to take much time because my time was given only 20 minute i can go on speaking like this but uh, it was a wonderful opportunity more than 600 students were assembled here if i could able to motivate some of the students with my feelings and uh, my uh, vision it will be very good for me and satisfaction for me i thank you very much the organizers for giving me this opportunity thank you so much sir we are extremely enriched by your encouraging words of motivation and wisdom it is indeed an honor and privilege for us that have given us time in spite of your busy schedule thank you sir thank you we request dr sujeet kumar barua registrar heritage institute of technology to deliver the vote of thanks uh, am i audible ma'am yes sir you are okay our respected chief guest swami aktopyanand ji maharaj pro chancellor ramkrishna mission vivekananda educational and research institute guest of honor professor dr k r s sambasiwarao vice chancellor mizoram university 
Sri P. R. Agarwala, Chairman, Board of Governors, Heritage Institute of Technology, Sri Vikram Shalu, Vice Chairman, Kallan Bharati Trust, Professor Dr. Basak Chaudhary, our Principal, Sri P. K. Agarwal, CEO, Heritage Group of Institutions, and other distinguished dignitaries, and my dear colleagues and students. A very good morning to all of you. On behalf of Heritage Institute of Technology, and also on my own behalf, it is my privilege to propose a formal vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. At the outset, I would like to thank our chief guest, Shami Atupyanandaji Maharaj, for accepting our invitation in spite of his busy schedule. We are thankful to him for his encouraging words, which we are sure will motivate the students to define their path for the coming days in higher education. I also take this opportunity of thanking our guest of honor, Professor Dr. K.R.S. Sambasiva Rao, for his thought-provoking speech that encouraged all of us present in this online program. I thank our students for selecting these institutes to pursue their higher studies. And I do hope that their expectations will be met with thorough utilization of all resources which are available here. You are cordially welcome to the admin office in case you need any type of help. And my colleagues will be there to provide you all necessary guidance. Thanks are due to entire heritage team headed by the chairman, Kalan Bharati Trust, Sri H.K. Chaudhary, our chairman, Biyoji, Sri P.R. Agarwala, vice chairman, Kalan Bharati Trust, Sri Vikram Saru, Sri Chief Executive Officer, Sri P.K. Agarwal, Principal Professor Dr. Basav Chaudhary, HODs, DCs, and members of faculty, officers, and staff. I shall be failing my duties if I do not acknowledge the cooperation and support received from our DGM, Mr. Shantosh Rai, Joint Register, Mr. Arvind Sivastap, Joint Register, Dr. Sandeep Chatterjee, Manager Systems, Dr. Devashish Karmokar, to organize this program. Last but not the least, thanks are due to Sami Dr. Vedav Kanamdo, Professor, Department of Chemical Engineering, for his excellent invocation, which helped in setting the tone of the program. And also to Professor Venu Viani of Mathematics Department for nicely conducting the program. Thank you. Thank you all. Let us end this session with a beautiful quotation. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Abraham Lincoln. Thank you.